Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Fortnite creative tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily first get and then use the signal remote system and the remote device in your Fortnite creative islands. Here I have a blank island, I have my player spawner, so let's say I want to create a light that will get turned on once I use the remote. To do that, first let's set up all of the devices that I'll need for that process. Let's enter the phone. I already have my signal remote found here, but you can find it also if you go and in your device search for remote. As you can see, it's called signal remote. Signal remote manager actually. Place a signal remote inside the device to modify its setting. That's the first thing we'll need. The second thing, we'll need something to actually notify us that the remote is working. To do that, I'm going to find a light. So a simple customizable light. And finally, we'll need the remote itself. That we'll find under weapons, where we're going to search for remote. Let's use signal remote A. And I'm going to drop a few of these as well. Here they all are. So first of all, let's place the light. It's here. Let's change its color to something like red. So it's more visible or better yet, something like green. Okay. And here it is, my shadow is changing. And now let's set up the remote itself. And here it is, it's the remote, remote manager. Pretty small, but I can enlarge it if I want to. Anyway, it's not going to be visible in the level itself. Here we have our basic options, but we'll also have our more advanced options. And we'll use events on primary activation, send event to, select device, customizable light to, set function enable. And again, set device, customizable light, set function to turn on. Now, we're going to simply change the initial state of light to off. So that we see that it's not working. Also, just in case, I'm going to drop one of the remotes on it so that it picks it up. Even though this could be done potentially immediately by the device being that we only have one single remote as you can see there are multiple ones that you can use so let's go and drop it didn't pick it up but hopefully everything is working everything is set up so when i go into my level i'm going to pick it up pick up the remote turn it on and the light should turn on as well so let's try it out And here we are, so let's pick up one of the remote, remote devices, remotes, and let's use it and let's go for on. As you can see, my shadow is green, so the light is working and it is on. Everything is working as it should be. Now let's see if we can turn it off in the same setting. I'm going to end the game and go back to my remote manager when I'm going to set up the command for the other button. So we have on secondary fire, send an event when using secondary fire, select device, customizable light, second function, turn off, and let's say select device again, select function, disable okay let's see if this is working and the game is loading let's pick up a remote and let's go around here and let's turn on it's working let's do a secondary fire and it's off so one command to turn it on 
and the other command which is my so first command is my left click this is my right click and it's off also the remote is changing its state as you can see you have this basically a cooldown option and when the cooldown option is done it goes back to normal and i can use it once more so there you have it really simple really easy but something that offers so many options and possibilities and variations because basically you can do whatever you like with it you can set it up with other devices as you can see here you can set multiple remotes where multiple teams and players can use them all of this is a fantastic bundle of options and abilities that is open to anyone who is using fortnite creative and with it your levels and your gameplay mechanics can become a lot more complex a lot more engaging because hey you can do things remotely as the remote part says so there you have it thanks so much for being on this video thanks so much for watching if you're a first time you're please consider subscribing there is a bunch of ways how you can support me you can become my patron supporter send me money on patreon each month help me make these videos and many other types of videos you can also buy my books on amazon you can send me money directly if you'd like to do that but cheapest easiest and most effective way is to simply subscribe to my channel and be here for my new videos of course if you have any questions or doubts about anything especially stuff related to fortnite creative please write them in the description below that's it for me thanks so much for watching have a great day and have loads of fun in your unreal or better said fortnite creative islands until my next video bye bye